Hello, welcome to Wine Channel. If you need some cash, subscribe down below for your weekly wine news at Friday 8 p.m. Uh, so starting off with our first weekly wine news is Whole Foods have presented an idea to the Sudbury government um, asking for a restaurant pouring license that will allow customers to be able to shop while having a glass of wine in their hand. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but um, I, <laughs> I think it could do some damage to your account, your bank account, to tell you the truth. Um, it's not the first time that Whole Foods have done this. If, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, whether you think um, having a glass of wine while shopping is a great idea or not. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. Um, further news, opened this year at Colorado's um, Arapahoe Space and Ski Area, that's a tongue twister, uh, as a wine bar perched at 12,500 feet on the Continental Divide. The wine bar Il Rufio at Snow Plume highest, is the highest wine bar in North America. So uh, get your warmy, comfy uh, clothes on and uh, have some good wine and good Italian food up there. And I, I'm pretty much guessing that the views must be spectacular, but wow, um, 12,500 feet. That's going to be interesting how they do the wine delivery there. In further news, new autonomous vine bot called Backers is joining outdoor bots like Bordeaux Ted and Portugal's Vine Scout um, in cultivating the vineyards. Uh, the vine bot Backers is situated in Champagne. Uh, Backers is a French startup uh, and it's uh, their desire to make um, it much more sustainable viticulture in the future. For me, it's uh, first to kind of know about actual autonomous robots on, in the vineyards moving around quite freely, wirelessly. Um, with no human handler as such. Um, for three of them to be starting up, it seems like this could be the future for, uh, for vineyards. Um, yeah, another one to watch this space. Uh, last year uh, was a very good year in Germany. The production of wine increased by 20% across Europe, 14% across uh, Italy, and 17% across France. Uh, Ernest Boucher of the Wine Institute has recorded saying it means a 20 to 27 million hectolitres more than 2017 which sounds good, except they're running out of wine bottles in Germany. That means that their stock, which the wine German producers have, are just sitting there. Uh, there's no bottles for them to go into. Um, it's something that is probably a first um, to happen. They usually could get their wine bottles in the rest of Europe, but uh, this year doesn't seem to be the case. Um, yeah, we'll see, to see what happens next on that front. Uh, Singapore Airlines um, plans to introduce over 40 wines from Burgundy for premium class customers. They will constantly change them uh, over a year and a half period uh, due to new sourcing policies which sees wine consultants such as Oz Clark, uh, Jenny Chow Lee and Michael Hill Smith, MWs both of them, uh, they will be visiting vineyards to try and get um, small batch wines um, to be available on their airlines. So that'll be interesting to see if any other airlines follow suit, suit in that same area. And uh, finally, uh, but I'd say it's probably a fluff piece, but Sophie Turner, which you know from Game of Thrones as Sansa Stark, is seeming to be following the same lines of Tyrion Lannister when uh, she was found uh, on the big screen, which is called the Dumb Jumbo Tron, in the Rangers game at Madison Square Gardens, chugging a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon, which was fifteen pounds, fifteen dollars a glass. Um, so. Yeah, that's pretty much the news. She, she kind of downed the glass. I mean, it wasn't a huge glass. Um, you yeah, would probably see it on uh, on YouTube as well, but um, I'm just going to say, maybe show some more wine appreciation. We we all in the wine trade would appreciate that, you know, to advertise it in that way. Um, this is some cash. Uh, as I said before, subscribe to get our weekly wine news um, every week at Friday at 8pm. And again...